welcome to Walk Grange Farm. I'm Roger. And I'm Angharad. And this week we are going for a quick walk in the fields to see the grass, but then noticing how wet it is so that we still can't turn the cows out. Yeah, and also we're going to um, open our third cut. We're getting a bit short on silage now, so we'll open our third cut and have a look, see how that looks. And how is it looking? Uh, bad. <laughs> so the cows are still in the yard, you can see her now, so uh, they can smell spring air. They're mad to go out. Uh, every morning, the sun's out, they're standing by the gate waiting to go. Uh, but because of the field conditions, uh, they can't go out. It's a bit wet underfoot, so we're going to have a little walk out the field now, just at the top of the shed here, where they would love to go out uh, and show you why. It doesn't look like they'd be going out for a few days. So as you can see, we have got an abundance of grass. Uh, the cows would love to be out here, but um, you can't quite see how wet and how soft it is underfoot. So that's one foot or two feet. So you put, uh, well, 1,200 feet from 300 cows in here and um, they're gonna run around and uh, ruin <laughs> this field. And uh, well, you need to look, it's April and we need to look after this field now all the way through to September, October. So, uh, yeah, you've just got to be um, a bit cautious. Try not to ruin your fields at the start of the year or it's going to be a long summer with not a lot of grass. Mugrange is quite a dry farm. We've only got about six inches of soil and then we're down onto Rab. So, normally we can get cows out quite early, but it's um, not looking likely this year. It's amazing this time of year now, the days are getting a little bit longer, uh, the sun's out, so these fields should dry up uh, pretty quickly. So if we have a couple of dry days, I'd be very tempted to uh, let them go. Um, just, if we, don't eat, if we don't graze this grass soon, it's gonna go a bit too strong for the cows and then it won't get grazed very tidy and uh, it just, uh, it's a bit of a battle all summer. So um, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not uh, writing off any scenarios at the moment. Depends how fed up of uh, cows in the yard we get. So with turning the cows out to grass, not looking likely, the time had come to open third cut silage. Right, so we're out the silage pit now, as you can see, uh, this is our first and second cut pit, which is our best silage. We've probably got 10 foot left in the back of that pit, which might last a week. This is our whole crop, which has our wheat. And you can see on the left there, we've just got to the back wall. So maybe there's about five or six feet left in there. We're lucky um, a lot of people now are running out of forage altogether, but we have got our third cut, which is in this pit right here. And, um, there's plenty of it there. Uh, the only problem with it is it's wet and I think it's not going to be great. So we'll have a look in a minute. We'll open it up and have a look and uh, see what it looks like. But it went in quite late. It was start of October when we were cutting it. It was quite wet. Um, but the pit hasn't sunk too much. So hopefully it's not as wet as we thought. But we're hoping to get the cows out soon because you can see we've got plenty of grass on the fields. This would be an all right buffer <clears throat> to feed with that grass, but feeding, like the cows being in and just feeding their silage now, um, I don't think the cows would be very content. So uh, yeah, we'll have a look at what that looks like. And a smell, could be smelly. So now we're gonna uh, throw some of the tires off the front here. I might open up the front a couple of feet and have a look. I don't want to open up too far because as you can see, it runs towards the front. And if it rains, I don't want any more water to run down the sheet and into the silage than is already in it. So uh, yeah, we chuck a few tires off and cut the sheet and see what it looks like. Thank you. 
What happened to your door then? The window. Door it's fine. It's just very clean. You can see through it. So that's the tyres uh, cleared. We'll just uh, cut the sheet off the front now. Um, walking on it, it feels very spongy. I think it could be wet. The big unveil. It, if it looks as bad as it smells, it's not going to be good. It's like Christmas. It's a big Christmas present. So it's um, the bit of white, they're a bit of mildew, they're not great. But I think um, once we get into it, it isn't going to be too bad. This doesn't look too bad, it's a bit heated, but uh, hopefully I'll find a nice bit. Um, my verdict on that is not good. <laughs> I think, um, yeah, there's a lot of mildew on the face. Uh, I think once we get into it, it'll be fine. But uh, initial assessment is um, rubbish, rubbish. But that was the year we had last year. It was very wet. We had a very wet autumn. Uh, it would be nice to cut it about a month before we did. But excuse the out of breath, I'm very unfit. Um, yeah, we just had a bad, bad from July on. It never stopped raining. Uh, so it came off quite late. I didn't have a lot of hopes for it, which is why I haven't opened it till now. But I was hoping the cows would be out. A lot of the animals would be out and maybe it would have been a bit of belly fill for uh, if we were short of grass. Whereas now it looks like it could be a big part of the ration, which uh, isn't good for the amount of milk we're gonna sell in the next month. Uh, but there we are, we had good first, second get, plenty of it, not bad, or pretty good quality. Uh, you know, as you come into the autumn, the days get shorter, um, the grass gets a bit slushier, so um, it's a struggle to make good silage, but uh, we know we are lucky uh, to have this silage. I know a lot of people haven't got um, any fodder at all, and they're buying fodder, so we're lucky to have it, but... Um, you'll have to stay tuned, stay with us, and see how it goes. I think it'll be all right. Um, the front is never the best part of your silage bit, but uh, I think once we get into it and it gets a bit higher, even if the top is a, a bit suspect, um, from there down it shouldn't be too bad, but wet. You can't kick your fill cows up with uh, wet, they're just eating water, whereas you want to try and get a bit more dry into them and uh, produce some milk. So we'll see how it goes, fingers crossed. Pray for us. But of course the rain didn't stop. Day after day the rain kept coming and there was no sign of turning the cows out to grass. Third cut silage came in pretty handy, but how did it pan out for the cows? So this is the third cut that we opened last Monday. We're now Tuesday, so eight days. <clears throat> We're nearly um, a bay back into it, which uh, it's a five bay pit. so with the slope running up the first bay, where I'd say we've got about five to six weeks here. If the cows aren't out in five to six weeks, uh, I think every farmer will have gone mad. So uh, yeah, it's not the best. Uh, I could probably, this is some of it, you can squeeze it. You can see the moisture coming out of it. It, um, I wouldn't like to eat it, but uh, I'm quite surprised how content the cows are. Uh, we are mixing it. We have got some of first cut left, which we're mixing probably half and half 
uh, first cut and third cut for the cows. Um, yeah, we're about to run out the whole crop. So I've been mixing a fair bit of straw. The cows are probably having um, half a kilo of straw mixed in their mix every day now, um, just to put a bit of fiber into it. And uh, hopefully the straw will slow it down going through the cows a bit, because um, there's not much fiber in this. So I think the cows could get quite loose. Um, you know, if you ate soup every day, uh, you know what your inside would be like. So, um, yeah, it's a bit wet, but it's it's better than nothing. It's keeping us going. And um, uh, yeah, I'm quite surprised how happy the cows have been on it. They haven't been uh, falling too much. They seem to go and eat it. Uh, it's it's not got a bad smell on it when you feed it out to the wagon. It's uh, the mix is smelling quite nice. Um, so we're also doing, uh, putting straw in for the in calf heifers and the beef um, and they're quite content as well so uh, surprised how well they're doing off what isn't the best of silage but it's the silage we got and it's the silage we're feeding so we're in a lot a better position than a lot of people that are buying in silage so uh, yeah we'll just keep going with it and keep praying for the good weather and quite surprised we've had uh, from when we opened it the front of the bed didn't look great and I thought it wasn't um, going to be ideal, but now we've gone a bit back further onto the pit. Uh, there isn't much waste at all, um, so it looks a mess. But what I'm doing, I'm trying to feed the, what's next to the side walls and across the top. That's going to the, the heifers and the, the beef. Uh, I always try and feed the best stuff to the cows. They're what's paying the bills. So, uh, yeah, ignore my messy silage bit. Even though the cows are happy, seem happy eating the silage, uh, the milk has dropped. We've kept um, the concentrate levels the same. Um, even though we should, probably should cut them back as the milk is dropping, but because of the shortage of silage, we're keeping the same amount of concentrates going in. Um, the milk has dropped about a litre and a half a cow, which isn't ideal. Um, but it is what it is. We'll uh, we just have to um, grin and bear it for a month, and hopefully then, uh, when the cows go out and they've got plenty of grass, we can put their concentrates back and uh, produce cheaper milk. Hopefully. So yeah, we got plenty of grass out the fields. Unbelievable amount of grass out the fields. Just the ground conditions are so wet, we can't get the cows out. So we are the ninth of April today, uh, I think uh, Beast from the East 2018 was the last time the cows hadn't gone out on this date um, and before that I couldn't tell you when it was uh, so it's a bit of a, a one-off year hopefully uh, yeah hopefully it's a one-off year and um, yeah I can see things normally average themselves out so we've had a lot of rain so uh, roll on uh, gelato filled sunny dry summer please yes please that would be marvelous but for now we've got to stick to the present and make a mix for the cows morning and night morning and night nice whole crop yeah if i had one cow let me hold one we cut it on the knot and then Wendo can make a rope. That's our strength. That's Wendo's next uh, dragon's den, I think. <laughs> because the food cut is wet, we're putting half a bale of straw in with their mix at the moment. Um, they're also having a bit of whole crop. There's, that's like two days left, so. Uh, that'll be the end of that. So a lot of straw to go with a lot of wet food cut silage. Ideal.
And that's the cows mix every morning and every night still in the winter routine until they can be turned out to grass, which hopefully won't be too long. So that's what we're feeding the cows at the moment. Yeah, every day, um, but every day the first get, pit is getting less, whole crop's nearly finished. Yep. Um, and yeah, the third cut silage is not the best, so it's obviously not giving the cows the best nutrients. Milk is dropping every day. Everything's screaming out for, please can we turn the cows grass. out? <laughs> and grass. Cows love grass. Um, our, our input costs then will drop a bit. It'll help health, it'll just help everything. Everything's happier. Lower so. costs. Um, so please, Spring, can you come along and let us turn the cows out? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's what you all need. Absolutely. So, there we are, thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you. So if you like this video, please give it a like down below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so. Um, it's great to see all of you subscribing. And also, it's nice to see some comments as well. Yeah, we love a comment. We love that from, every from week. anywhere. <laughs> so um, yeah, thank you once again. And we'll be back next week on Tuesday with a brand new video. Yeah. Thank you. Good, thank you very much. Yeah. Ta-da. Ta-da.